Hinder has a dream. The 20-year-old wants to make it big and be successful. Hinder is from Mullenbeek, a district of Brussels known for lively multiculturalism, but also for low incomes, crime and unemployment. But Hinda has other plans for her future. I'm looking up at screens all around me. Are you in Times Square? Hinda dreams about a job in New York City. The others are all ears. Hinda is taking part in an art-to-work job coaching session. The organization aims to help young people from disadvantaged Brussels neighborhoods. I was pretty lost before this, had no orientation. I didn't know what to do with my life, and yes, I might have had goals, but I didn't know how to achieve them. Hinder is not alone. Many struggle with the lack of opportunities in Mullenbeek. More than one in five are unemployed. And those who do find work are often poorly paid. It's a stark contrast to other parts of the city. Brussels is, after all, the de facto capital of the EU. Its European quarter is a whole different world. Top jobs at the EU pay in a month what people in Hinda's neighbourhood earn in a year. There are strong differences between rich and poor neighbourhoods in Brussels. It's a region with a lot of poverty. One third of the population in Brussels lives on an income below the level at which poverty becomes a threat. When growing up in these neighbourhoods, access to the labour market is particularly difficult. And there are real problems with education here. To improve the situation, the EU is supporting projects like Art to Work. Hinda didn't graduate school. Before starting at Art to Work, she went from one part-time job to the next. At some point there was a moment when I realised this wasn't the life I wanted. Participants come in every day for six weeks and learn the basics of working life, like writing cover letters and resumes. But the programme's aims are higher. Personality development is a big part of our work here. It makes our participants realise there's only one person who can make it happen, they themselves. Arkan is one of those people. Art to work helped him to find a job in construction. He didn't graduate from school and had long been seeking his place in society. I can communicate with others well now, and I understand the labour market better. I get up in the morning no longer saying to myself, I'm tired. I focus on the positives. I tell myself, I'm contributing, I'm socialising, I'm going to work. Today is a big day for Hinda. After six weeks of training, she's presenting what she learned and her plans for the future. Her mother has come too. When I arrived here, it was like stepping out of a cave. It's odd. I'm so proud of her. The people here have helped her move forward in life. She has found her way. Hinda can go back to high school. When she graduates, she'll be well equipped for her future. I want to be a social worker. I want to help young people, accompany them in what I had to go through myself. I want to motivate them and tell them Life might not always be easy, but we can change things, transform the negative to positive. Soon, Hinda could be doing her part to help address the social inequalities in Brussels.